Good everyone. It is uh, day 32, Church in the Time of Quarantine. It is also uh, April 17th, and historically, in uh, 1894, Nikita Khrushchev was born. So, happy birthday, Nikita, and happy birthday to your shoes. Um, one of the few uh, Soviet dictators who uh, didn't die in office, so I eh, guess he has that going for him. Speaking of communists, the other thing uh, historically on this day... Uh, in 1961, there was the uh, Bay of Pigs invasion, which I guess that's not very good news. Well, if you're Castro, I guess it's good news. If you love freedom, probably not so much. But uh, anyway, the Bay of Pigs, 1961. A uh, couple announcements. Uh, well, you got the usual church announcements. Just a few things to draw your attention to. So next week, um, we'll keep doing this broadcast, but I'm going to, you know, this is going on longer uh, than uh, I was anticipating, so I'm going to change things up a little bit uh, just to add some variety. Um, so I'm going to do a couple interviews next week, and depending on how long those go, uh, the first one's with Father Pay, so that could be three or four hours. I'm hoping to keep it a little shorter than that, but um, just don't want to overwhelm you, whelm you with stuff, so uh, it may uh, break things up a little bit. So next week may look a little different. It may not, but just a kind of warning uh, about that. So we'll be discussing... Uh, what makes a good sermon uh, and a good preacher with uh, Father Pei. And then uh, Father Andrew Grasso, um, who's down at the cathedral uh, in uh, Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, he's also a PhD in philosophy, and we're going to discuss uh, faith and reason uh, with him uh, later in the week. Should be very interesting as well. So um, look for those coming out. And then this Sunday, uh, it's... Uh, well, there's the diocesan worship, which um, I'll send the links for that tomorrow. Uh, we're going to do noonday prayer uh, after the, their service. Uh, and to keep with tradition, uh, because traditionally the rector does not preach the Sunday after Easter because he's tired. Uh, so Dante, uh, our seminarian, is going to preach. So looking forward to that. And we'll have noonday prayer and uh, have a little music. I believe Dante's even do a little singing, and he has a wonderful voice. So, uh, so definitely tune in for that uh, on Sunday. All right, that brings us around to trivia. Yesterday, uh, what is the thing you can do at the Vatican uh, ATM that you can't do anywhere else? Uh, a couple of guesses, actually the same guess. They, they, neither one were right, but, uh, they, well, they were the same guess. Uh, was, the guess was that you could uh, make, a, uh, make a financial contribution or a, a gift uh, to the, uh, the Vatican, but that's not what it is. That, but, that would seem logical. Uh, what you actually can do is you can transact in Latin. So if you've ever wanted to take out money and use the language of Latin, uh, you can go to the Vatican. Well, not now. You can't go there, but uh, sometime you could go there. And according to Glenn Jones, he said you can get various currencies there uh, out of the Vatican ATM. So, all right. Well, there, uh, and that leads us into today's trivia. We're going to go to the world of art. So the painting uh, known as La Gioconda, uh, has a more famous name. Uh, so what is the more famous name of the painting La Gioconda? And if you want bonus, uh, bonus credit, you can uh, tell, me, uh, tell me who painted that. All right, well, it is Friday, and we had been doing Good News Friday, but then that got interrupted by Good Friday. Uh, but we're going to go back and do, uh, do Good News Friday. So just a three news stories that came out recently that uh, caught my eye. And um, so we'll go through. The first one uh, comes from New York. Um, and the title of it is uh, Why Positioning COVID-19 Patients on Their Stomachs Can Save Lives. So uh, Dr. Dr. Mangala uh, Narsa, Narsimhan, I think. I probably butchered it, but I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, doctor. But um, he said they've, they've, uh, they've decided to, in the more serious cases, um, flip people uh, onto their stomachs, which is called prone positioning. Um, and it's because it helps increase the amount of oxygen that gets to the lungs. And uh, according to the doctor, he said, uh, we're saving lives with this 100%. Um, it's such a simple thing to do, and we've seen remarkable improvement. You can see it for every single patient. So that's just kind of interesting that something, uh, something that simple as having them lie in their stomachs is really, uh, really changing the, uh, the treatment for people. So, uh, so good for a doctor, the guy I can't pronounce his name, but, uh, okay, the next one also comes from, uh, uh, well, it comes from New York uh, State, from Brooklyn, um, a landlord by the name of Mario Salerno, 
uh, has waived uh, rent uh, for all the tenants in his buildings uh, for the month of April, and uh, which may not sound that exciting until you realize he has over 200 uh, apartments. And uh, he said he just wants to give his tenants one less thing to, uh, to worry about. He said, I want everybody to stay healthy. That's the whole thing, he told uh, NBC New York. So good job, uh, Mario, and uh, thanks for helping look out for other people. Okay, the last one, um, this one's for you pet lovers out there. It's a few, uh, a little, I think it's about a week old, but uh, since we missed last Friday. Um, so every animal at the Chicago Animal Control has been adopted. Uh, so the first time in its history, all the, uh, all the animals in Chicago, um, are, there are no, no pets to adopt. Um, and this is not just isolated Chicago. Uh, according to ASP, ASPCA in New York and Los Angeles, applications to foster dogs and cats is up 200%. And according to a software program shared by some 1,200 shelters nationwide, they say adoptions are up over up 700% over last year. So anyway, the uh, people are uh, taking their stay-at-home orders and they're getting a, they're getting a pet. So uh, good for them. Uh, to get those animals out of the shelters. Okay, well, we will end today with uh, our prayer for Friday and Easter week. So let us pray. Almighty Father, who gave your only Son to die for our sins and to rise for our justification, give us grace so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Talk to you all tomorrow.